Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. This is for the brand new tank war chests that are going to be hanging around for a couple months, as I guess is what it is. And this is going to help you out to explain to you whether this is or is not a good deal for you. Or maybe not directly analyzing it for you specifically, but setting it up for the template so that you can take a template that I present to you here with a virtual template and apply it to yourself and say, hmm, well, according to what he said, this is a bad idea for me to buy these or this is a mediocre idea where I'm going to have to be gambling or this is a great idea where I'm going to have a lot of potential win for myself. So it's going to be different for every person. It's not the same because of what is available. Now, as you can see here, they show you four of the, you know, interesting premium tanks that have been available in, like, different seasons. And just to give you an idea of what's available here, what you might be able to get in a tank war chest. So we're going to cover that, and I'm going to show you all this stuff. And then I'm also going to show you what came out of a batch of 20. So that way you're going to see it, see what's possible, and then you're going to be able to run this in your brain while you're seeing the chests be opened and go, hmm, okay, that's interesting, just to give you comparisons. So it would be real helpful if you could leave a like for this video and help spread the word. Tell your friends as well. Those are tank war chests, blah, blah, blah. Here you go. Those are 800 gold each. You know, it's a little more expensive than the celebration war chests. But the tank rate is slightly higher. This tells you the basic percentages of where you're going to get premium consumable, vehicle experience booster, those are quite common, but they're also good. Silver, reasonably common. Uh, commander experience booster. Now, this is the stuff that is appealing to me, and I will explain to you how to make use of this. And it's one of those things, if you use vehicle experience boosters, they're terrific. If you use commander experience boosters, they're terrific. If you use free experience boosters, they're terrific. Okay, and that's like the next one there. Then the silver booster. Well, the silver booster, if you use those, they're terrific. And now we have a silver with interest. I'm going to show you in another video today how to do this to your advantage, to the best of whatever advantage you have, depending on the amount of boosters. Now, if you don't have a lot of boosters, it's one of those things that you collect these over time to use them in the correct, or in my opinion, the most correct way to maximize the value. There's no right or wrong objective uh, answer to how should you use those. I'll give you my best explanation and then you're going to have to make the choice for yourself. You know, premium account days are also, you know, somewhat available from one up to 30 days, which is the, the butt kicker, really. The 30 days is you know, almost as good as a premium tank. Uh, free experience, just blocks of free experience. Very helpful, especially when you think in advance to save it to use for tanks for free experience because, well, some of the Tier 5 tanks are like 25,000 free experience. So you can get what's essentially down the road a free Tier 5 tank. If you pay attention. So it just, you know, it all depends on the situation. You've got to pay attention and plan for the future. And then, of course, at the very bottom, the most important one of all, premium tanks. Okay, so 12% chance of getting a premium tank. 3.6, you know, percentage of those are epic tanks and 8.4 of those are rare tanks, which is a regular premium tanks. Like the epic ones are tanks like the 
Bradley. Um, there, there's some other ones, but I don't know specifically. We're gonna get. We're also gonna show you the list of tanks. But off the top of my head, I know that M3 uh, A1 Bradley is one of the epic tanks. So here you go, premium tanks. This is really the killer. Um, they're all rare, rare or epic, meaning premium. All right. So when it says rare, it's it means it's a premium tank. Uh, BT-7 Artillery, Tier 3. That's the top reading down. Gross Tractor, that B-looking funny letter. This is a German tank. So that funny-looking B is a double S. So that's why it's Gross Tractor. That is another Tier 3. SU-76I, Russian Sniper, Tier 3. Sexton-1 American, Tier 3, Artillery. Panzerkampfwagen 5-4. That is, of course, German Tier 5. Um, SU-100Y, Soviet Tier 6 Sniper. ISU-122S, Tier 7 Soviet Sniper. Hawk 30 is a German... Um, gee, I think it's a light tank. I don't know. I don't have it, but I don't need it. I don't, and I don't want it. M636 Condor is a Cold War Arrow 1 medium tank with a very good rate of fire. Pretty fun tank, actually. Shashka SK, uh, SU-130PM Tier 8 Soviet Sniper. M3A1 Bradley Era 2 Epic Tank. It's quite good, actually. AAT-60, another epic. Um, gee, I think it's a tier 10. I don't have that tank, but it's not something I'm interested in. That's why I don't know. FV-4201 uh, Chieftain Prototype, epic. Mm, I don't remember for sure which one that is. I don't have that one either. But again, it's not something I'm interested in, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, Object 292... Era 3 heavy tank, that was a ultimate season pass tank. Project Murat, that is a French tier 10 medium tank, also an ultimate season pass tank. So this is the key list here. You look at these tanks and go, well, what are you interested in? Now, some people are just, you know, actually most people would go, man, I'll take any of those, you know. Because they're all good. I have specific things I'm more interested in than others. So uh, I have the ones that I'm already interested in having. And really, for me, the only thing that I don't have that I would want would be that Bradley M3A1. So for me and players of my status who have a lot of these premium tanks already, it's not a good deal. For for the more premium tanks you have that are on this list, the worse the deal becomes. Because if you get a repeat tank, it's a silver refund. And I think they start at like 500000 for the refunds in silver for premium tanks of Tier 3. So it don't go up from there. But this is also the time of... Silver with interest, as the as of the recording of this um, video, so it's not really a good deal for players of my status that have you know these different tanks. That what it turns out to be is that the newer of a player you are, the more potential value it has in the context of you're more likely to get something you don't already have, and it's actually good. Like most of these tanks are actually good. You know, BT-7 artillery is all right. Gross tractor is another one. It's all right. SU-76I, terrific tier three. Sexton one, terrific tier three. Legendary actually in my hands, but as an artillery expert, that's the way it is. Panzer 5-4, you know, 
just you know used to be like ultra legend now it's just gone down to the regular legend um su 100 y another very good sniper 122 s very good hawk 30 i don't know i don't have one condor very good one of the things that's great about the condor it has a hundred and sixty five percent silver bonus it is a monster money maker in silver with interest which is like right now so if you decided you're going to do the uh, chest earner for the three chests before you buy any, which is what I would do, do that. If you could snag yourself a condor, you could make some cash. That I mean, that thing is a butt kicker with 165% uh, silver bonus. Shashka SU-130, another really good Russian sniper tier 8. Uh, the Bradley is very good. Um, the Object 292 is a real solid tank. It's good. I've played it. A heavy tank, Era 3. The thing you just got to remember, that in Era 3, heavy tanks are what I call weasel food. So you have been warned. If you get an Object 292, you better have a partner or buddies that you're rolling with because weasels are going to come eat you because you're food for them. So... That's the thing. There's a lot of really good tanks. That Project Marat French tank medium is very good. I played it uh, from the Ultimate Season Pass, and I thought it was very good. Now, I'm not a Tier 10 tank player. You know, I just I tested it out. It worked out great. You know, no problems. But I don't spend my time playing Tier 10. It's boring as heck for me. Again, that's just me, you know. Try them yourself and see if you like it. If you like it, it's great. If you don't like it, well, then don't do it. It's just that simple. So there's a lot of those tanks that are really good. You know, and it's going to depend um, from person to person. Now, personally speaking, some of those tanks I told you that are, that are you know, good tanks, I don't use them because they I have something else that I like better. But... The ones that I personally use for my success, SU-76I, Sexton-1, Panzer-5-4, 636 Condor. I have a bunch of the other ones, but those are the ones I play of the ones that are on the list myself. And I have several more of those tanks. But it just they're just, you know, sometimes it, you know, I tell people it's not good or bad. It's like chocolate vanilla or strawberry you might like one flavor over the others that doesn't mean the other two are bad okay so if you're if you like chocolate well you're like man i don't want vanilla or strawberry you can have vanilla or strawberry and go it's fine but i prefer chocolate okay and that's what it is it's a preference it's not an objective oh it's, you, you know it's not objective garbage okay so Premium, whoa, that dude. Premium consumables, it'll tell you here, basically, basic stuff. Okay, don't worry about those. You don't really want to get premium consumables because they're cheapo stuff. Um, vehicle experience boosters, experience 2, 3, 4, and 5, etc. Same thing. This, uh, these are chunks of silver. They'll give you half a million, three quarters, a million, all the way to two and a half million. Commander experience boosters, 2.25s, 2.75s, times 4, times 6, and really awesome times 8s, if you're lucky. You get free experience boosters here, 2, 3, 5, and 6, potentially. Silver boosters, 1.25 is the low one, 1.5 is the medium, 2 is the tough one. I mean, it's really great to have those, and I hoard those 4s. Silver, um, you know, bonus. Premium account, you get, you know, one day, seven days, 14 days, or the ultimate 30 days. Those are awesome. And free experience chunks 20,000, 22,500, 25 grand, 40 grand, 60 grand. Man, I've never seen the 60 grand, but that would be nasty. So these are, you kind of just bonus. You know chunks that you could get same thing with those free um not not the free experience but the commanders because the commander booster the way to use these 
go check out any of my videos about the 38H because the 38H is the best commander booster tank in the game. And I explain that in the videos and I have several videos about that tank. So go check it out. I have some other videos of games that I played where I scored monster and I mean monster commander bonus in that tank using these things. You know, the way to misuse these is to take a commander booster and put it on some one-star guy that you have in some regular um, tech tree tank or even a even a non-bonus premium tank like a Tiger tank or a Fury Sherman, etc. Those are you're wasting it. Commander experience boosters are best used only in a commander experience booster tank where you use that tank and that booster to combine to just supercharge your commander's experience for that game. And it's earned by a three-star commander if you're smart because that, uh, once again, extra supercharges it. And so you're getting jacked up numbers depending like one of the videos I did last, last week was I had, what was it, 56,000 commander points in one game using only a times four. It's the highest I've ever scored in a times four. But that's because I did it with a 30% three-star commander in the 38H with a times four commander booster. And I had a monster game of like 2,700 damage. It was just absolutely like Godzilla. So this is the thing. If you do it right, and just keep repeating the process. You're going to have some good games, some very good games, and every once in a while you're going to have an astronomical monster game like I had of 2,700 damage, you know, or 2,400 or 2,300. Anything over 2,000 is just, you know, wicked. So this is the thing. There are ways to do this correctly and with maximum power. So that pretty much covers this. Now I think we need to go and check out the actual tank. And we're about to do the tank war chests videos. And I'm just going to give you some helpful information. That Bernie is our local scoutmaster. And he hooked up Atomic with 20 of these tank war chests because Atomic needed the, you know, the stuff in there. And so the point is that was that, okay, so he sent those to Atomic to help him out. And what I did was took the videos sent to me by Atomic, and I'm going to show those to you here so I can show you what happened. Okay, 20 chests. This is number one. Okay, there you go. Those are boosters. Free experience and commander's blue. Free experience is gold. Vehicle booster. So this one is another vehicle booster. This is what you use when you're using tech trees. Silver vehicle and commander boosters. vehicle, 10 of those, and then 3 times 4 commander boosters. 750,000 silver. That's a lot of silver. Again, free experience, vehicle, and commander boosters. That is vehicle experience boosters. 6 of those times 4s, which is pretty good. Oh, SU-76I premium tank with one day of premium. And, of course, a garage slot. Silver, free experience, and vehicle boosters. So that was fantastic. So that was... <laughs> so that was the first of two video clips that I got. And we're going to get to the second one here momentarily. This will be the 
the second stash, and that was Silver Booster. That is consumable boosters, 10 of each, so 50 of those consumables. Vehicle boosters and commander boosters. And one of the things that happens in this is you're going to build up a nice stash of each. More vehicle boosters, 8 times 3s. Chunk of 22,500 free experience. Just fantastic. Forty thousand free experience. That's unbelievable. This is going to be great for the next uh, tanks for free experience. Believe me, that's going to be worth about two tanks right there. There's free experience boosters and commander boosters. Really helpful stuff right there. Another three quarters of a million silver. As you can see, he's raking it in pretty good on silver. Oh, Sexton 1 US. Absolutely fantastic with a day of premium. And of course, a garage slot. So, got one remaining. Four times five vehicle boosters. That's, that's very good. Okay, we're going to close out the rest of this video with the SU-76i, which is one of the, which was the first tank that was gotten from those war chests, which was fantastic. Now, the 76i is a really good Tier 3, which also makes it a really good candidate for long hauls. Excellent gun. My personal record in this tank in a match is 9 kills. I mean, it's really good and gives you, you know, everything you need to be successful. The only thing it doesn't have really is a, is a turret. So let me show you the equipment on here. On this one, we got the reload. We've got the tracks. The tracks will help your tank turn faster. So that's a key addition. We have the uh, advanced optics and also the fan, which increases the optical range, it slightly decreases the reload, and makes your general crew performance better. So, really good, a really good tank, especially if you want to work on long hauls. So, terrific and a nice tank to have when you don't have this tank, and that's the key. You know, uh, Atomic got two Tier 3 premium tanks, which is not bad. The odds are out of 20 of those chests, you, you would get two or three, two and a half really is what the the odds say 2.5 premium tanks. Well, you can't get a half a premium tank. The way you get a half a premium tank in the odds is that if you and your friend bought 20 each, one of you is probably going to get two and the other one's probably going to get three. That's how you'd end up with a two and a half. Okay. It's like kids, you know, you have 2.5 children. Well, you don't have half a child. You have two, your neighbor has three, or vice versa, you know, whatever. You know, it's an it's a it's a mathematical averaging, it's not a specific half. So anyway, that's what happened. Uh, lots of great boosters there that will help but you have to learn how to use the boosters correctly to maximize their value you want to use those silver bonus let me show you using my own stash okay let's do this well using my own stash that I pick up over time I'm hoarding these, for example, this times 10 and times 8s, I'm hoarding those for toy tanks at Christmas time because they have the maximum value there. No problem. I use the rest of them times 6 and below. And even the times 6s, I'm semi hoarding. I don't have a lot left. But I use the times 4s and below for my regular 38H matches. Free experience, 
you know, I'm going to use those with my silver boosters doing silver with doing the silver with interest, which is going on right now. And I'm going to do silver with interest in Cold War. All right. So that is the dealio there. As you can see, I have a ton of those. I just don't use them because I know where to use those boosters for maximum value. And you learn this over time, and that's what makes it smarter for you to have them and use them where they're the most valuable. Not that I have it. You saw I have a monster stash of these. Some of my friends, they have bigger stashes than I do. Now, they don't really use them as much as I do. I'm going to show you what happens when you use commander boosters properly. What happens is this. Here's how many one skill commanders I have. None. Here's how many two skill commanders I have. None. Here's how many three skill commanders I have. One. Now, which one is this one? Yes, he's in the 38H because he's in the process of turning this three skill commander into a five or more. Okay, here's how many four skill commanders I have. None. What I do is I run my the commanders, I swap their skills into the Nazi zombie and then play the 38H and build those skills to five, six, in some cases seven, depending on whatever I need. So let's go check this dude out. And after that, now there's what 41 five skill commanders. There's 42 six skill commanders. All right. It's a process. It's like a factory. 17 seven skills, 16 eight skills, and I have 26 nine skill commanders. Now these these nine skill commanders, I maximize this stash. In the toy tanks during Christmas. You know, I was using times eight commander boosters and I was getting a hundred thousand commander points one match, five minutes. It's a five minute game mode. And it's either five minutes the time expires or the game is over before five minutes. So most of the time it was less than five minutes. And I was having I learned how to play toy tanks, and it was one of the most important things you could learn if you got the commander boosters in advance. So this is April. Stockpile as many commander boosters as you can, especially from operations or any kind of earn stuff. And I, all those earn operations, I get those and use them. Now, those were all times fours, and I've been using those to work on my commanders. But you saw my times six, my times eight, and my times tens. And I'm waiting to unleash the beast in toy tank mode to turn eights into tens. I mean, I'm sorry, eights into nines. 10 skill commander. Good job, genius. A slip of the tongue. It doesn't even exist. Sometimes you just get too excited, I guess. I don't know. So this is the example of how to use commander boosters, you know, for maximum effect. So I have another video I'm going to be making today about silver with interest. If you want to make silver, that's what you want to look for. And it'll be available sometime uh, later this afternoon slash this evening. So I'll be working on that as well. So I hope that this video was interesting and helpful. It should have been very helpful, regardless of whether you buy any of those things or not. Now, remember, go check in the challenges. Chest earner. You can earn three of those tank war chests. For maximum fun... I'd say earn all three and then open them. But if it's too tough to do, which I understand, if you earn one and open it, I can't say that I'm any different because I've done the same thing myself. Now, I'm going to do this for my, I'm going to use mental powers to do all three when I get them so I can show it to you guys tomorrow as a video. So I'm going to do it the hard way and tough it out. I'm going to sit on two of those, getting the third one, and then I'm going to record it and open it. But it's going to be, I'm like, I'm like a kid at Christmas, you know, with an itchy trigger finger. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoyed this video, learned something. 
saw some stuff. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask a question. No one's going to think you're dumb because you asked a question that you don't know the answer. You need the answer. So people will get, there's a lot of guys here that know this stuff and they'll jump in and tell you if they beat me to it, so be it. It's fine. That's the kind of uh, group of people that hang around here in my videos is these guys will be glad to help you, you know, with any knowledge they have as soon as it's possible because they're watching videos off and on at any time. So take advantage of people who know stuff you don't know by, and don't be afraid because I, I always tell people, man, nobody knows all this stuff. In fact, we, we ask questions of each other because sometimes we forget or we're doing stuff and they'll see that we've done something that wasn't what we, what we really wanted to do and they'll just, you know, pipe in and say, hey, you know, this, you know, one of the most uh, obvious versions is tier preferential tanks. We want to run a tier preferential match. If someone pulls up one that's not tier preferential, someone who's in the match is going to say, hey, wait a second, that's not, that's not a tier preferential tank. And it's not a, hey, jerk, you're an idiot. It's a, this is a friendly reminder. You're, you know, these people who answer these are friendly reminders. If anybody insults anybody in my videos, oh, I just block them. Because we, we're not playing that. We, we don't have, this is not insult festival. This is like, you ask a legitimate question and you're going to get legitimate answers. And anything that, if it, if it occurs, so far it's only happened like once or twice. When I had to block a guy because he was, you know, being rude to people. We're not here to be rude. We're here to be helpful. So don't be afraid to ask a question. Because if, if you don't know it and you don't ask it, you're hurting yourself. If you don't know and you hey, can I do X, Y, Z? Someone will say either, yes, you can do that. Or you can do it in a special case. Or you can't do it. And they're, they're cool about it. Just You can look at any of those comments. Those guys are all nice people. Tell your friends that way they can learn about this and maybe like and subscribe as well. So I got more videos I have to make. I'll be back as soon as I can. See you guys later.